unreal United States, places that don't seem real. I'm really excited to jump in this, check out some beautiful places in America. Before we do, I appreciate if you guys can now subscribe button down below. But yeah, let's jump in this to see what we got. With giant leaps forward and things like CGI and AI, we tend to look at things that are amazing on the internet with a little bit of skepticism. Okay. You see an incredible sunset Ooh. of reds, oranges, and pinks, and you wonder how much photoshopping was done here. Right. Which, oddly enough, is what I always think whenever I see a picture of the Kardashians. <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to show you some unbelievable oh, wow. places in the United States that actually exist. We won't Yo, wait, that, that don't even look like Earth, bro. That is like Mars or something. Places in the United States that actually exist. What? We won't be looking at the ones everybody knows, like the Grand Canyon, Old right. Faithful, or the Smoky Mountains. Okay. These are 10 that most people don't know about. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's beautiful. Take a look. Absolutely beautiful. 10, White Sands National Park. Number 10, White Sands National Park. White Sands National Park down in southern New Mexico is like something out of a dream. This is a okay. massive stretch oh, wow. of dazzling white gypsum sand dunes that covers about 275 square miles, making what? it the biggest gypsum dune field on the planet. These dunes are seriously out of this world and they- Why is it- did he say sand? Why, why is it so white though? It's taken thousands of years to form. Basically, the wind did its thing, carrying away gypsum huh? crystals from the nearby mountains and sculpting this ever-changing landscape. But Yo, wait, I've never seen anything like that in my life, bro. That was insane. What's amazing about this place is not just these white dunes. It's the animals and the plants that have adapted to this area. Okay. Nothing should live here. If you go here, there's all kinds of fun stuff to do. One of my favorite things to do is actually you take a sandboard, which is similar to a snowboard, and you go down the dunes. It's a lot of fun. But what? if you want to take a hike through the sand dunes and you got a decent camera, this is a great spot to spend a weekend. Beautiful. Or at least a day. Beautiful. Mendenhall Ice Caves. Number nine, the Mendenhall Ice Caves. The Mendenhall Ice Caves up at the Mendenhall Glacier near Juneau, Alaska are like something out of a fairy tale. Oh. Been in here a couple times. It is insane. Take a lot of Alaskan cruises. Eventually, if you do that, you end up in these ice caves. Right. So this is Glacier Bay. Uh, yeah, wow. it's kind of cold. I don't know if you've ever been near a glacier, but they're made of ice. <laughs> and uh, it's cold up here. I really underdressed for this one. These insane oh, ice caves are carved out by Mother Nature herself as the glacier does its slow dance of moving and melting. It's okay, okay, this is, this is ridiculous, bro. That is unreal. That, do you know what it looks like? It looks like, you know, when you go in those tubes in the ocean and you got the ocean around you, it looks like that kind of. That is unreal. Bro, how, we're already on two things, right? I'm going to be blown away by this video. That everything in this video is in America. That's how big the United States is. Is massive herself as the glacier does its slow dance of moving and melting it's like wow. she wants to make secret hideaways for all of us to go hang out in and you know see wonderful enchanting blue colors and hope the ice doesn't give away and crush you to death in there <laughs> but when you go in here i don't think cameras can do it justice i know video right. cameras don't you take a video camera in there and it's really not worth it that's my opinion but it's just it's little low light it just kind of glows blue. It is so cool. If you do take a cruise to Alaska, make sure this is one of your excursions you do. They have wow. all kinds of companies that do it. Definitely check this one out. I would love to check that out. Wait. Number five. Wait. How are we going from 10, 9, 5? Well, I thought we were counting down from top 10. How, how are we on 5? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. Ho Rainforest. Number eight, the Ho Rainforest. Oh, I think it's an error because <laughs> he said number eight, bro. Ho Rainforest in Washington's Olympic National Park is a mesmerizing natural wonder that okay. totally captivates anyone who sets foot here. Been here right. about four times. It is amazing. This rainforest is kind of unique. It's not the steamy tropical rainforest you'd expect or you've seen in movies. Instead, this thrives in the cooler, wetter climate, getting a mind-blowing 140 to 170 inches of rain a year. You know what? That water is so clear. You can see the barn. I'm t bro, in the UK, you ain't getting no water like that, bro. The forest is like something out of a Lord of the Rings book. Oh, wow. With towering trees, covered moss that create this magical cathedral-like atmosphere. Okay. The ground is like a lush carpet of ferns, mosses, and old logs. And it's bursting with all kinds of paths and critters. Don't be surprised if you see things run across the path in front of you. Nothing. Any bears? 
Yo, if I go here, any bear is going to come out and kill me, bro. There's really dangerous. Never heard of anyone. Oh, surprised if you see things run across the path in front of you. Nothing there's really dangerous. I got Never heard of anyone getting attacked by anything other than other humans. Even though you're out in the wilderness, it's fairly safe. This one is a great place to take a nice walk or go for a serious hike. You can oh, do beautiful. it all here. It's a big area. This is another one that low light videography doesn't work that well, except on, cause it's always cloudy. So you right. got overcast and then it's kind of dark in the bush there. So if you're using a GoPro or something like that, it's going to get all pixelated. Unless you're on a rare day where it's nice and sunny and you got- Okay, no, 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 that has to be edited, bro. H how we go from you're this- using a GoPro or something like that. To this. Now this, Looks like something out of a movie. It's going to get all pixelated. Unless you're on a rare day where it's nice and sunny and you got a lot of light coming in, then right. great. But if you can get a good camera to come up here or a lot of cell phones now work better than oh, the wow. GoPros, do that. Seven Portland. Cell well, phones now work better than the GoPros, do that. Portland Japanese Garden. Number seven, Portland's type. Japanese Garden. The Portland Japanese Garden, right in the heart of Oregon's bustling city, that's what it says on the website. They're really on okay. the edge of it, above all the nonsense. But it is like a tranquil oasis that just calls you to come and experience this serene beauty. The garden oh, wow. is a perfect blend of Japanese landscaping ideas and elements of the Pacific Northwest, creating a one-of-a-kind and totally captivating experience. As you stroll along the winding paths, you'll find yourself surrounded by lush greenery and koi ponds. And of really course, cool. towering maple trees. They're everywhere. There's also those really cool Japanese stone lanterns you this is find right. better landscaping just about anywhere. I mean, you go. Yeah. Yo, this is something that I definitely would check out if I come to America because I actually would like to go to J uh, Japan as well. You won't find better landscaping just about anywhere. I mean, you go to Disneyland or something like that, and they just have amazing landscape. You know, they right. have a whole crews of 100 people do landscape at Disneyland. This is better. <laughs> Honestly, where art meets nature. Yep. Number six. Molokini Crater. Number six, the Molokini Crater okay. off the coast of Maui in Hawaii. This place is seriously cool. It's huh? this volcano shaped thing that took forever to form. And now it's like this half submerged island. The way it's shaped makes it an awesome place to spot all kinds of sea creatures. So it's a big hit with all the folks that like to snorkel and what? dive. The water here is so clear that you can see everything. Just floating on the top with your snorkel and your mask, you could see plenty. But if you want to dive and go lower, even better. The Molokini Crater is based. Yo, that's crazy. Wait, that's mud. Basically, an underwater paradise with tons of cool stuff to see. And Nemo. it's a must visit if you're into nature and you're in Maui. Now, here's the thing about going out there. There's a couple different boats and tours you could take. Actually, there's dozens of them. Some of the boats are a lot slower. If you take one of those little fast rafts, you could be out there in like 20 minutes. If you take one of the other ones, it's like right. a 50-minute ride out there. A little more luxurious that way. Still but it's not usually too bad. like a two-hour tour. So if you're taking 45 minutes out and 45 minutes back, you don't have that much time. They do have longer ones, but I think two hours is good enough. If you do go there and you're taking a tour, make sure you ask them to go to the elevator, which is on the back side of it. And where the water goes up against the rocks, it doesn't go into the rocks. It rises. So. Huh? What? Which is on the back side of it. And where the water goes up against the rocks, it doesn't go into the rocks. It rises. So you're on this elevator thing. It's really, really fun. Okay, okay, okay. I still have I try to figure out what he's saying in my head. The elevator goes up the rocks, not into the rocks. Is it like a ramp? Elevator? Bro, the wall's going up and down like a... Yeah, I don't know. If anyone's got any videos, send it to me on Alfred of G underscore uh, on Instagram. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, bro. Castello di Amorosa. Number five, Castello di Amorosa. I hope I pronounced that right. I've been there before Same. many years, but it's, uh, oh, cool. it's a really cool castle in the middle right? of the Napa Valley and all the wine country. This is a... You know what? That's actually really interesting. I'm going to say something stupid right now, but I genuinely didn't know if America had castles. I genuinely didn't know. I ain't going to lie, bro. I ain't going to lie. That's the first time I've seen of one. The UK has loads. That's all we got is castles. I genuinely didn't know if America had castles. 
it's a really cool castle in the middle of the Napa Valley and all the wine country. This is a jaw-dropping castle that whisks you away to a different era. The place is the brainchild of a wine enthusiast that had a deep love for medieval architecture. Oh, okay. The castle itself is not this fake thing, you know. It's, it's not just plaster made to look like it's real stone. They really built this thing. Wow. You look at the doors on the place and it's like thick wood. One person told me it was brought out there from Italy and they only used handmade nails to put things together here. I don't know Yo. if that's for the whole place, but it's definitely for the doors. My suggestion is go here in the summer or spring when it's winter and it's all gray. It's kind of nasty, but the Napa <laughs> Valley is beautiful. And then they got this castle there. It's that's amazing. Cool. That's cool. Antelope Canyon. Number four, Antelope Canyon, Arizona. Antelope Canyon is nestled within the Navajo Nation in Northern oh. Arizona. This is an extraordinary geological masterpiece shaped over centuries by relentless forces of water and wind. It's this moss. is made up of two distinct sections, the Upper Antelope Canyon and the Lower Antelope Canyon. Each offers a unique jaw-dropping experience. Wow. The Upper Antelope Canyon is renowned for its sunlit beams penetrating through the narrow passages. I'm sure you've seen a picture or two probably didn't know what it was but this it looks like a wonderland like wow know, it's just amazing the summer months again is the best way to go here especially if you're into photography look at you that know, that's where you're gonna get the best shots of the sunlight coming through the little narrow gaps the smooth walls of the canyon come alive with vibrant colors ranging from rich reds to soft purples creating a surreal and captivating ambiance for visitors on the other hand the lower antelope canyon while less frequented is equally as enchanting with a labyrinth of paths leading to chambers adorned with remarkable natural hue. What does it look like outside of the, 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 the tunnels? What does it look like? I, I wonder what it looks like. Though the light beams here are less common, it's really not as big a thing there, it's still breathtaking. Both sections of Antelope Canyon offer photography enthusiasts a dream day, dream weekend, whatever you want to do. Now, it's also this important to know that these canyons hold cultural significance to the Navajo people, and visitors are encouraged to show the utmost respect for both the environment and the cultural heritage okay. of these areas. Right. Yo, that is like not even like this planet kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's a different planet. It's really cool. The Palouse. The Palouse. The Palouse is this grassland, farmland area in the Pacific Northwest, mainly spreading its charm across parts of Washington and Idaho. Okay. It is famous for its rolling hills that seem to go on forever, covered in lush green wheat, barley, and lentil fields. It's huh? like something out of a dream. I was just about to say, this isn't like that appealing as the others to me because in the uk we have a lot of grasslands but we we ain't got anything like this why why is this like so bumpy why is this so bumpy what's going on here no wonder this is a hot spot for photographers what? and nature buffs what makes the Palouse even cooler is that the wild geological history of the place, it's shaped by ancient floods and a little volcanic action. They huh? used to think it was all because of the Cascade Mountains and the volcanoes there. But then after years of research, they realized that the Canadian glaciers actually pushed all this silt down to this area. This is some of the most fertile land on the planet. In 100 years, they haven't had a failed crop. What? Oh, only on ta only on ta George Gorg Gorge number two know. the Oneonta Gorge Number two, the Oneonta Gorge. Right, the Oneonta gorge. gorge, which I've heard called several different things, but we're going with Oneonta, is a hidden gem in the stunning Columbia River Gorge of Oregon. Oh, it's not too far from Portland. It is this my. super cool, lush, and kind of narrow canyon that'll blow your mind That's if beautiful. you're into nature stuff. To get to the heart of the wow. gorge, you've got to wade through the chilly waters of the Oneonta Creek. If you have mobility issues, I would scratch this one off your to-do right. list. It can get a little rough, especially if you're not there in the dead of summer. The water gets a little high, it's cold, and it's rocky creek you're walking through. But the payoff is worth it if you can make it. They have some of the greatest waterfalls on the planet in this area of the Columbia River Gorge, but when you get to the end of this one, it is amazing. There's epic waterfalls that are just tumbling down from above, making this part of the gorge even more mystical That's and beautiful. awesome. That is actually All stunning. All right, before we get to number that one, don't forget we have another nice. channel called On This Day. There's a link for that down below. All right, on to number one. Well, we got number... Oh, my... Wait, 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 wait. Why, why is this so big? 
Number one, I see Sleeper Wilderness and Beastie Badlands D Na Zin. Okay. And <laughs> number one, the Ashi Slay Pa Wilderness. The Ashi Slay Pa Wilderness out in northwestern New Mexico is seriously something else. I mean, huh? besides the name and how hard it is to pronounce, and I probably butchered it, this place is beautiful. It's like stepping into a science fiction movie. Huh? Now, besides Ashley Slay Pa, they have the Bisti and the Denazin, which I'm sure I butchered those names, but they're all this like badland area in the huh? Valley of Dreams. <laughs> in New Mexico. You could hike to each one if you want. But Ash Yo, that is super cool. That is, I, th th this is another one of them where like it could be on another planet. Do you know what I mean? Not on Earth. Please say Pa has a trailhead right there and it's the easiest one to get to from the road. The whole area wow. is amazing. Picture this, wild badlands that'll blow your mind and all these crazy rocks in every color that geology has to offer. These weird geological sculptures Mad. have been here for a very long time, being eaten away from sheer rock by wind and sand. Now, Ashi Slay Pa comes from Navajo and it means gray salt, which totally fits because these are shale formations. I wonder how many movies has been filmed here. Surely, right? Surely there's been a bunch. And they do have this eerie gray-blue shade. If you're up for it, you could go on some epic hikes and explore this ancient terrain this that's so been around good. for millions of years. It's like a sneak peek into the Earth's history books, courtesy of Mother Nature herself. If you like to be outdoors and you're an adventure junkie, this is a great hike and something really cool to see. Wow, listen, my list of to-do things for America is already big enough and now it's just even bigger man i want to check out so many things there if you guys have ever been to any of these places let me know in the comment sections you can also send me pictures on instagram l3wg underscore but yeah great video enjoyed that a lot hopefully you guys did as well if you did make sure you have a thumbs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you in the next one peace